This video will walk through a interpolation problem where we want to predict the yield in terms of bushels per acre from the costs. And so we're going to back, go back to the same formula we looked at earlier, where y hat equals beta zero plus beta one times x. In this case, y hat is going to be the yield and x is gonna be the cost that farmers put into producing that yield. So we can calculate uh, some things by predicting the yield for costs at $600 and $700 per acre. The mean when Y is 600, when the mean cost per acre is $600, uh, we take the three values that we have from our data set from the three different farmers, 150, 185, and 160 bushels per acre. And we can calculate the average to be 165. So we could say that on average, if a farmer puts in $600 per acre, they could expect a yield of 165 bushels per acre. We can do the same thing for 700. If a farmer puts in $700 per acre to producing a yield, the yield would be on average 188.3 bushels per acre. And so these will be important values as we move forward. To do this problem, we're gonna use what we call a centered regression equation. Our value for y hat is going to be what I'll call beta zero prime uh, plus a beta one times the value x minus the mean value for x or x bar. And so this is common in a lot of regression to center the data to use in a centered regression equation. So we can say when x is 650, beta zero prime is going to be the average of the two yields at 600 and at 700 dollars per acre and so the average yield then would be 176.7 bushels per acre so we can say that as x goes from 650 to 700 dollars per acre y hat goes from 176.7 to 188.3 bushels per acre and so that's important to know what we can then do is now find the value for beta one hat. So then beta one hat is gonna equal 11.6. Remember that's the difference uh, between the two values as y hat goes from 176.7 to 188.3 divided by 50. That was the value between 650 and $700 per acre. And so our result then is 0.232 which would be our value for beta one hat. And so then the equation that we can write goes something like this. We could say that y hat is going to equal 176.7 plus 0 0.232 times x minus 650. So this is, again is centering our regression equation. Uh, when we take any value x minus 650. So the value of this is what about when x equals 675? That is, what is the value, what is the estimated yield if we put in $675 per acre to produce that yield? Well, now we can use our equation to predict. And so here y hat is going to be 176.7 plus 0 0.232 times 675 minus 650. And so when we get that, we would expect 182.5 bushels per acre if we put in $675 per acre to produce that yield. And so this is a common approach and leads us to our next step of using ordinary least squares when it comes to calculating regressions. 